Hello friends, welcome to Vlogmas Day 11. It is Saturday. It's a weird weather day. It's like 50 degrees, super windy. We might lose power. We're supposed to get gusts up to 70 miles per hour tonight. I think it might have even been higher. But it's Saturday. We're going to go find a small business. We're going to run some errands. We're going to just have a Saturday together. And yeah, we're ready to rock and roll. I am wearing one of those new shirts that I picked up last night a windbreaker and then I just have on some jeans and my Allbirds. I'm still telling you these are one of my favorite, favorite shoes. I'll leave them linked below. They're incredible. Steven already has taken Bubba's for a walk. We are going to get going. All right, friends, so I am here at Warehouse 127. They have a flagship store in another location where I live, but just check this out. It is beautiful. Um, there's a couple things that I'm already interested in buying. I will link from their website things that are still available, but so many cool things. I love these little like dipping bowls on the wood platter. I think those are going. I have some candles that she has been nice enough to let me set up over there that I think I'm going to get. I love like the cone. These tiny candles are beautiful, but everything is just stunning. These trees are really cute. The other thing, I was just talking to her and I wish I would have come here before I started my decorating because her mantle is so similar to what I ended up doing. The other thing I'm considering taking with me is a sleigh. I just need to think about where it would go. I am planning a little date night for Steven and I. He's done such a great job. Um, taking care of dinner this week because it was like a busy, stressful week for me. Uh, so I'm doing like a little cheese tray. We're gonna make like a ricotta with bread. We're gonna do some lemon chicken with an arugula salad. I got some prosciutto. We're gonna put together a little like charcuterie plate, all the work, some steamed broccoli to go with it. Steven's going to go out and get us a bottle of Camus, a fantastic cab. But I wanna highlight Saturday's small business. I filmed in there a little bit, so you've already seen a snapshot of it. They were so lovely. It's called Warehouse 127 Curated Home, and I'll show you what I picked up there. So, I thought these would be great for our charcuterie. They are little wooden, like, boards that you have then these ceramic... Thought these would be great for like honeys and mustards on a charcuterie plate. I just think they are the cutest. Also, how adorable is it that they add a little tinsel tree to your bag? Just super festive. And then in here, what I bought are a couple things. I am a sucker for a good cocktail napkin. So these say I already feel like a better dancer. And those made me laugh. I got these beautiful marble candle holders. And then for these candle holders, which can typically hold tea lights, I actually found, and she says these burn beautifully, these gorgeous cone candles. So I got them in this linen gray and olive green. And then like this very dark taupey color. And I just think those are so, so pretty. I love them. And then I also found this, which I thought was just adorable, like a little burn sage moment with a crystal and lavender in the little holder. So I picked these up there. I'm not sure where my candles are going to end up landing, but I'm really happy with them. I just think they're adorable. 
So that's what's going on. I'm gonna get the rest of this put away. Steven is eating lunch and then he's gonna go get us some wine and we're gonna have a very chill day today. I am getting ready to put together our little charcuterie board. I'm gonna show you when I'm putting together a board, I like to have a few like ramekins and show you ones that I've used in the past, but I like to have something like that to hold some nuts. I always have some sort of nuts on stock. So like I have some pistachio nuts that are already shelled. I also love seeds. So I have some pumpkin seeds and some honey roasted peanuts. I'm gonna put those in there. I also have my oven preheating to 500. I like to scrunch up my prosciutto and throw it in the oven for a little bit and crisp it up. It just adds a different, better texture to your board because a lot of things are softer, so that adds some crisp to it. The nuts add some crunch. We're gonna get some grapes. I also love to have greenery to put in it. So I'm gonna go pick some rosemary from our front bush. Well, I got my cheeses arranged. I'm doing an arugula salad with lemon, so harder, whiter cheeses go really well with that. So I have some parm cheddar. I have a champagne cheddar. I have an aged cheddar. A um, just a regular parm, just like very basic. Here's the deal, depending on how my board is set up, like this longer and narrow board, I kind of like to keep my cheeses monochromatic, which sounds weird. I just think it lends itself to be prettier. I will bunch my prosciutto up across here once it is done in the oven. I haven't even added it. And then I love to add like the mini toasts. Then I'll sprinkle in some cranberries, arrange the rosemary in it, but that's how I put mine together. I don't overthink it. I always work with an odd number of cheeses because it just balances out the board better. So I have five and it just looks really simple, really beautiful. And then once it's all filled in, it will be stunning. It's really how easy it is. Another thing I love to serve is some French bread and ricotta. So I'm just going to take some basil leaves. I'm not gonna to be too specific. Just a handful. Pretty. I'm gonna stack them inside each other. Best as I can. And I'm gonna give them just a tight little roll. And all I'm gonna do now is just run my knife I'm gonna keep it very thin. And we're gonna have beautiful little ribbons of basil. Now, I'm not going to do all of this ricotta, but this is a really good, fresh, whole milk ricotta. I'm gonna add that in. I'm just using a fork. I, I like mixing ricotta more with a fork. save the rest for something else. I'll throw it on top of a pasta dish next week or something. I'm going to add in my basil, reserving just a few little handfuls for the top. Now grab my fork. I'm not gonna overdo it with the garlic, but just a little bit of garlic in there. Some fresh black pepper. And some good floor to sell that in. Just gonna give this all a stir to combine. Sprinkle a little bit more of this basil on top. And then all I will do right before I serve it for us is toast up some French bread and then also drizzle just a little bit of raw honey on top. So that's done. Now for the prosciutto, all I'm going to do is I typically like to use parchment paper, but I don't have any. So I'm just using some Reynolds wrap to make it a little simpler. And all I'm going to do with this prosciutto is take each piece, nothing fancy, and just kind of make like little bundles. It is really that easy, but this adds such a better texture brings out the nutty, like a little bit more of a nutty and salty flavor. I'm gonna throw these in the oven. 
those are beautifully crispy. I did about seven minutes total. I'm actually just transferring those to a plate. I want them to cool down a lot before I put them next to the cheeses. So just moving them over. I also wanna toast up some bread for my ricotta. I'm just actually going to toast up my bread on the same pan. The fat rendered off of the prosciutto will help the bread crisp up as well. So I'm just going to add some of these on there. I'll probably drizzle the tops with a little bit of EVOO. But I'm gonna throw these right back into the oven to crisp. Here is the finished board, friends. So I ribboned the prosciutto through and then laid in the rosemary and I added the toasts and just like put them in a couple places. I have a little ramekin of honey and then I took some dried cranberries that I had and just added that color in a couple little spots where I thought it could use it. And I have this little wooden spoon for the honey and I'll grab my cutting tools. Only probably, oh, yeah, I grabbed five. Because it's just us, we really don't need all of these out. We can we can reuse them in a couple spots. So it's gonna add these into a couple of the blocks. Maybe slide this one under here. And there we go. That is our board for tonight. And Stephen went to get a really good bottle of wine. Then we'll make dinner. I think we're going to do dinner together, play some music, and just relax. All right, I think Stephen is just getting home, so we'll see his reaction. I just drizzled the honey over the ricotta. I arranged the bread on that tree that I bought last Saturday. So that is a beautiful way to present it. I just want to make it really special for us tonight. And I hope you guys learned a little bit about how I put together my boards. It's just super simple. <laughs> I say it's super simple, but I know someone will be like, I don't know how you do it or blah, blah, blah. Like, I don't know. It's just my eye and I trust my gut. So I want to see his reaction to how everything looks. Nice. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's like Thanksgiving. Except I hope we're not going to throw out $80 worth of cheese. No, we won't throw out $80 worth of cheese. That's like Heather Dubrow throwing out $36,000 worth of sushi. <laughs> so, this is our little date night tonight. We just finished the Netflix movie Single All The Way. It was so stinking cute. How many times did the power blink out? Three? Yeah, three. We, our power has blinked out three times, so I'm probably going to wrap up this vlog we ended up not even doing like a real dinner. This was dinner tonight and it was actually perfect. We had some Camus, which is the best cab ever. And in order to get this video on day 11 to you, I'm not going to do advent calendars and we'll do two tomorrow. So I'm going to sign off like I sign off all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others. Be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone until next time, which will be tomorrow. Bye-bye.